So as you can see, the, the kid zone, you know, when, when it's zoomed out, you can see uh, all the kids, you know, all that work, all that research, down to a few seconds. Hi guys, it's me, Micah Loma, and I'm so excited to tell you that I'm going to meet Mr. Paul Abadili later. He's one of the sketch artists of Disney and Pixar's animated film Finding Dory. And guess what? He's Philippine. Mm -hmm. At dahil sa na-inspire ako, ayan, knowing ko si Dory kanina. So, samahan niyo po ako. Let's go! Pixar's first uh, TV special. So usually we do uh, films that we can release in theaters, but this was the first one that was uh, straight to TV. And uh, Lava, some of you guys might have seen. I did the color script for this short film. Um, and even though I didn't get credit for this next one, uh, Inside Out, I helped for a few weeks. And this might look familiar to you. It was the Riley's boyfriend maker, um, you know, it's where her imaginary boyfriends would come out of the conveyor belt. Isn't it great? And there's always something new like... Who the heck is that? Imaginary boyfriend. So, I was really surprised when I saw the final film because I didn't think that this would make it into the final version of it. So, when I saw it, I was really, really thrilled. Um, what do you think of the idea that people are now looking for the old classic animation of Disney? Um, well, I, I think it's, I think it's still out there. I mean, it just depends on what your story needs. If it's appropriate to be told in a two D medium, or uh, if it's more appropriate to be told in three uh, D animation. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily say it's gone. Or it's dead. I think it's still alive and well. I mean, I would love to see more films that are done in 2D. I mean, the last thing that I remember that I've seen that's in 2D would uh, you know, be films like Paper Man or um, other films outside of the Disney umbrella like uh, The Dam Keeper or you know, things like that. 